Hey, good afternoon. Hey. What's your name? Jen. Jen? Yes. How old are you, Jen? 33. 33? Mm -hmm. Okay, where are you from? Northeast, Philly. Okay, before we talk about anything, Jen, I want to ask you about your childhood. How was your childhood, <laughs> Jen? It was good. I can't complain. Okay. I went to Catholic school. I had a good family. You Only child. What? I said I, I, was, I went to Catholic school, grade school, and high school, and I'm an only child from okay, Northeast child. Philly. Okay. Yeah. You grew up spoiled being the only child? A little bit. A little bit? How was your I'm parents? How lie. was your relationship with your parents? Very good. Um, I was really close to my dad. My dad passed away two years ago. Okay. Uh, he was an addict also. We went to Catholic school and everything. Um, you consider yourself an upper class, middle class? What you consider yourself? Middle class. Lower class? Middle class. Middle class? Yeah. All right. Are you religious at all? Yeah, I'm Catholic. You're Catholic? Okay, so you you got true belief into your religion, even though you wasn't forced, it wasn't forced upon at all? No, right? yeah. Okay. Um, I've always had a good relationship with God. Okay. What was the gateway drugs that brought you out here in Kensington? In Kensington or in general? In, in general. Drugs? Um, I was prescribed Percocets and Xanax from doctors since I was 16. Mm. And then uh, I got clean for 16 months in Florida. And I came home and I fell 38 feet out my window and I broke 17 bones. So then they put me on Percocets and Dilaudid then. You fell 38 feet <laughs> out your window. Oh. oh. I broke Keep both. Can you catch it? And I have shark wow. skin on my feet. I broke both feet, ankles, shattered both heels, my left fibia, my right tibia, my left wrist, my sternum, my sacrum, my L1 through 5. Wow. And my pelvis. Sorry. Wow. Do you feel like you started using because of that? I mean, I definitely relapsed again because of that. They were prescribing me eight Percocets and six Dilaudids a day. Mm. And then they cut me down to like uh, six, five milligrams. Yeah. And then I started using heroin again because it wasn't enough. Wow. How old was you when you first started using heroin? 27. 27 years old? Mm-hmm. Did your life change drastically after that? Mm-hmm. I feel like in three weeks, everything just like went to shit. What happened? Like how you started noticing the changes and stuff in your life? I had a miscarriage. I had to deliver a baby at seven and a half months. So then uh, that was like the tip of it. And um, then I got a DUI like a week later from drinking. I used to be a bartender. And like after that, I just felt like everything was unraveling. Wow. Mm -hmm. so sorry I got that. laid off from Hahnemann. And it was just, well, Hahnemann closed, but you know. How's your relationship with your family now? It's good. I live with my mom. Oh, you live with your mom, so mm -hmm. you're not out here homeless? No. I'm very lucky. So do you just come out here to Kensington to do your thing and then you go back home? Yeah. Unfortunately. Do you feel bad for the, your friends that's, that got to stay out here? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. Um, I try to help people, but there's only so much you can do to some, you know what I mean? So what's your main choices of drugs other than heroin? What else do you... Uh, um, crack. Crack cocaine? Mm-hmm. Okay, is that about it? I mean, I smoke weed and I do Xanax, so... So you still smoke the weed and the Xanax? <laughs> um, was weed considered like one of the gateways before the... I mean, I smoked weed from, like, being 12 to, like, 24, and I never did any other drug, really. So, so you've been introduced to uh, weed. Do you mm -hmm. feel like weed is different than the other stuff? Yeah, I, I, like, even if I get sober, I feel like I'll probably still smoke weed all my life. But right, right, right. I don't feel like it's really a gateway drug. I feel like alcohol is more of a gateway drug than it's weed sometimes. Right. Yeah, I agree. Uh, weed is definitely legal a lot But of people, like yeah, people think because it's not legal or whatever. Yeah. So, um, I just want to ask you this. Um, you spoke about your childhood, um... What do you do to find your habit out here? Um, for a while, I was stealing from stores and like selling the stuff. Mostly that. I mean, I'm fortunate I never had to work or prostitute. But I see a lot of girls doing it, and it's, it's okay. fucked um, up what they go through. Some of the females that you hang out with, are they currently doing dates and stuff like that? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I mean. Like, some of the shit that they go through just to get like a hit or their next bag is frightening, to be honest with you. It's, it's right. sad. You ever had a bad day and you thought about doing it? Yeah, I've gotten to the point where I thought I was going to do it, but I mean, I'm very fortunate that I didn't. You did. Yeah. Um, do your family help you with not, with yeah. not working the ass? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, like, I've also like threatened to my mom, like, well, I'm going to have to do this if you don't give me money and stuff like that. Right, made her right. feel bad because obviously she doesn't want to give me money for drugs, but she doesn't want to see me sick either. Right. So what's some of the crazy stuff you've seen out here in Kensington? Um. <laughs> I've seen people get shot. I've seen, every time I'm in this park, someone overdoses. Okay. Literally. Um, I've had to give a CPR a lot. A lot of overdoses, honestly. People getting robbed for no reason. Have you lost any friends due to overdoses and stuff? Yeah, I lost two of my best friends. 
two of your best friends, mm -hmm. that don't scare you at all? Mm -hmm. It do? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it definitely scares me, but I mean, when I'm sick, that's not what I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? Right, you just trying I'm to I'm just want to get well, yeah. I don't do it to nod out either. But I mean, no, I, I don't nod it. I mean, I'm not saying I never have, but that's not my goal. Like, I don't, I don't find that, like... I'm not going to yeah. lie, you know, um, All Time Media saw you on a couple of occasions, and we never seen you nod out. Yeah. Honestly, if you told us you ain't get high, we probably wouldn't <laughs> even know. That's what a lot of people say. Yeah, we wouldn't even know. Um, so, do uh, you deal with the samples and stuff out here? I try not to, because I feel like they put something extra in it sometimes to make it, like, make it come back. So, have you had any friends in these streets that, um, you know, friends that you built a friendship with, and then you come out here one day and you never saw them again? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and there's people that you think are your friends and then they switch up on you or they're stealing from you or you just got to always watch. You always got to be like, keep your eye on the ball, basically, because any, people will do anything to you. Right. There's no rules. Is there any addict that you do trust out here? I have like at least like three or four people that I, I can say I trust. Yeah. Do you want to get clean? Yeah, I actually am trying to get in detox right now. How's your, uh, what's your relationship status? You got a boyfriend, a man, or anything? Yeah, I've had a boyfriend for six years. He don't get high. Are you dating him right now? Mm hmm Um, how was it dating him knowing that you're an addict and, and he don't get high, right? Yeah, it's, How is he able to cope with that? It's hard for him, I can tell. Because, like, he doesn't want to see me sick, but he doesn't want to see me like this. He knows I'm, I'm hurting more this way than I am sick, like, in that way. Right. But. You got any plans for any rehabs or anything? Um, I am trying to get into detox right now because um, I'm, I have to start doing DUI treatment court anyway, so I'm going to be getting drug tested. So, um, still... I went to Entromalis about nine months ago. Okay. Do you still drink heavy? No, no, I can't drink anymore. I don't know why. You hate drinking? Yeah, it just doesn't go down like it used to. I like throw up. <laughs> so what you do when you can't get your choice of drug and you're sick? What do you do? Um. I mean, just try to make it out till like, until I can get it, I guess. Right. Or try to borrow money. I mean, I don't steal off people, but I can only go so far. So I try to have that so this way, if I need to get something in front of it or something, that way I can. But it Why doesn't do always work. Why do you think a lot work. of people are out here getting high? What, is there a solution to it? What's your think? What's your thoughts of it? I just feel like people, it's, everyone has like their, their own reason. I mean... Maybe something traumatic happened. Maybe they were on painkillers. Maybe they like to drink heavy. Or everyone's different. You feel like a lot of people got certain addictions, but just you know, some people are better at hiding it. Yeah, definitely. I think I was pretty good at hiding it for a while. I think I was in denial myself when I was taking Percocet and Xanax. Mm. Oh, so you came up in a, uh, the pill epidemic, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, I was prescribed them since I was 16. A lot of people um, fell over because of the pill epidemic. Yeah, like, I don't blame the doctors, but, like, like I understand I'm the one taking it, but, um... Uh, yeah. So the doctors prescribed a 16-year-old with pills yeah. and... Percocet and Xanax. That, that stuff escalated. They stopped uh, offering you that, right? Mm-hmm. Well, he got locked up, actually. Wow, the doctor got locked up? Mm -hmm. oh, man, a lot of doctors have been arrested mm -hmm. by this. So you think they're making a lot of money behind this, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I had sure. to pay $250 every month. Mm. Even though I have insurance, but you he didn't want to. No. No? Mm -mm. What if you did have kids? Would you think you'd still be out here living this type of lifestyle? I hope not. You hope That's not. the only time I ever got cold turkey clean was when I was pregnant. Um, what's the youngest miscarriage. person experience that you've seen out here? Like, young as hell. What's your experience seeing a young person out here? What like, was 14, age? 15. 14 years old? Like, it breaks my heart the kids that even just work, like, selling drugs. Like, wow. <laughs> like 12 years old and stuff. I heard that multiple times. Twelve-year-olds out <laughs> Just here like four-year-old kid told us to get off his corner earlier. A four-year-old? <laughs> he was four years old. Man, they, start, they, they getting him tuned into He's the like, Miss, you can't stop age. here. I was like, they're nuts. How you feel like you're treated out here when you are out here? I know you're it's, not homeless. No, it's rough, though. It is really rough. Yeah. You think the police do their job out here? I mean, they do what they can. They do what they can. Yeah. Though. There's only so much they can do, too. Right. Where do you see yourself in six months? I hope I'm, I hope I'm, I go through rehab and I get clean. Okay. But I can't promise that either. Okay. So, you know, you told me that you're Catholic, right? Mm -hmm. How often do you pray? 
I usually pray like at least when I go to sleep every night. Sometimes when I wake up. Being, right? Yeah, twice. I, twice, two times? Mm-hmm. That don't scare you? It does scare me, yeah. It do? I never do more than like a bag shot because I don't want to, you know what I mean? You could always do more. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't do less once you do that. With your addiction, who, other than yourself, who do you feel like you hurt the most? My mom, really bad. Your my mom. boyfriend too, but my mom really much. How your mom handling it? Not well. Not well, right? Yeah. You her baby. No matter how old you yeah, are, you're always exactly. going to be her baby. And, like, we lost my dad that way, so she doesn't want to lose me that way, too. You lost your dad that way? Mm, he had a heart attack, smoking crack. Heart. Oh, he was getting high and stuff, too? Yeah, he was clean for nine years, and then, I don't know, like, he got, I guess he got depressed at the end, like, towards the end. And he, he only relapsed for, like, three months, but he had a, he had a heart attack. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So what's your favorite food to eat? <laughs> um, baked ziti. Mm, okay. Well, what's the best place you ever traveled? Hmm. Mm, Italy. Italy? Mm-hmm. Why is that? It was just beautiful. Venice is really beautiful. Okay. Did you go with family or? Yeah. Okay. Is it like a regular thing? Is it often? Nah. No, not at all? Nah, I just went once. Was you using when you went to travel to Italy or you mm-hmm. wasn't? Uh, okay. You was on clean mm-hmm. time then? Mm-hmm. So can I ask you, um, if you're very hungry, right, and you're sick, right, um, and you only had a couple of eyes to your name, you only could choose one, which one would I would you pick? Get, yeah, I'd get dope before I get food. You would get dope before you get food. Why is that? I don't know. It's just... You'd rather be hungry than sick? Yeah, like you can deal with being hungry. You can deal with being sick, too, but I mean, there's a lot more symptoms that come with being sick rather than eating. You know what I mean? Okay. When's your sign? Libra. What's your sign? I'm at? I'm at. Libra. Libra? Mm-hmm. Are you spiritual? <laughs> yeah, I try. Like, I try to be. You believe in the zodiac sign stuff? You know, yeah, the to some about? degree. Some it, I like reading my horoscope after to see if it like really like was like my day correlated with it. Me personally, um, you know, I know many people ain't been in your shoes. It's very rough. I would like you to get out of these streets. Yeah, me too. It's usually not a bad ending here. No. It scared? can't get much worse. <laughs> Are you scared to die out here? Yeah, I am. Do you think about that? Mm-hmm. Is that in your conscience? I could always get a stray bullet. I could OD at any point. Like anything, right? I could get stabbed. I could anything. Right. I really want you to take that into consideration. You Thank know, you. You got family that love you. Don't want you out here. Yeah. You got a caring boyfriend. He's not using. You know. Yeah. He don't want you out here. Um, Sorry. I really should think you should take that into consideration because there's people that we interview. Mm-hmm. They're not here no more. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people that aren't here anymore. They're gone, you know? Mm-hmm. But I would like to thank you for your time. You've been thank wonderful you. for us. All time media is real for you. The fans is real for you. We want to thank you for everything. God bless. Be safe out here. Thank you.